Hi everyone, today we're going to go through creating a tool uh, which is called the Schedule Network Diagram and creating it in Excel instead of creating it in something else like Visio or, or another uh, program that you might have to pay extra money for. Uh, this is a wonderful way to create a Schedule Network Diagram uh, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it and we're going to go through it together. Uh, but just looking at it broadly, this is what we're going to create and it's got boxes here that we can move around nice and easily, which is exactly what we want. And uh, we can change these uh, and put them in different places if we want to. And also, if we, we click on these things, we can add our scheduled durations um, and the early start and early finish date, and it appears right here. So this is really, really great. And it's, uh, it's something that you can do just straight out of Excel with nothing, any, nothing extra needed. So let's go into it and see how we'll create one of these scheduled network diagrams from scratch. First of all, we've got our blank sheet here. And I'm just going to click in the top left hand corner and, uh, and select all of our, of our cells. And then if I right click on a cell, column width, that's what we want. And column width, maybe we want to make it about three. Because what we want is some nice even squares here. And if we right click on the, on the side and do our row height, that's the one. We want that to be about 19. And as you can see, we've got some, uh, so some fairly even squares here. Uh, and now what we're just going to do is say we're going to put in our schedule network diagram. That can be our heading right up the top there. We'll, uh, we'll make it in the middle and, uh, uh, of the cells. So that will be there for later. And we can make that a little bit bigger. That can be our nice heading, nice and simple. And right here can be our activities. Our activity list. Now if you remember, I think uh, if we, what we might do is just color this a nice blue, nice blue and we'll make the, make the writing a nice white. And this can be any color that you like, this really is up to you. But really the main thing that we're looking at here is our activity list next. Let's turn this into a darker, a darker blue there and we'll make the, the, the letters themselves a nice white. And looking at our activity list, what we want now is for us to be able to create the schedule network activities up in this section here. So it's usually around uh, nine squares where we've got, uh, and to do that, what we're going to do is just put borders around all of those things. In fact, I wonder if we should just put a, a thick border around uh, all of these, all of these little bits. And you'll notice in the middle here, what we actually want is if we merge and center that, now that can be, uh, we'll make it a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll make it seven size. And, uh, and we want that to be in the middle as well. But that's our activity name. And so that's going to be our activity name. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And here we've got is our duration. Oh, we'll make all of these in the center, I think, as well. And centered nicely. So we've got our early start, our duration, our early finish, and then our late start, our float, and our uh, late finish. So that's what it's going to look like. Now if we just copy these, we can paste that there. We'll get rid of these. And we might just put this as activity one. And you can put any number you like for starters. But the idea here is that we're going to just take these items, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, and we'll number them appropriately just so that we can recognize them in the future as well. So we've got five, six, seven. Of course, you can add any number of these down the side uh, as, as much as you like. And you might need 20 or you might need 30. But uh, let's just start with seven for now. And so what we're going to do now is just give ourselves a little bit of space on the left here. So this is what we're looking for. In fact, what we might do is just turn this into a little bit of a workspace. So I've, I've just given ourselves a nice border there. And what uh, we're going to do with that is go to our, uh, our view and we want to freeze the panes. So Let's freeze this uh, because now, no, it's not that one. So we'll, 
unfreeze those. I'll just go one over and freeze those panes. Now you'll see a line has come up here. And what that means is every time we move across, we're still going to be able to see uh, these, these items on the left. And we're still going to be able to work with these no matter how far across to the right we go. Okay, now we get to the really, really good stuff. Oh, let's put this activity list in the center as well. Make it nice and centered there. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so now we're gonna to get to the really good stuff. So we've got uh, our first activity over here and I'm just going to go Control C and copy that. Of course, I could right click and go copy as well. Now, what we're wanting to do here is uh, move over into our workspace. And if we right click, what we're wanting to do is paste special. And if you see here, we have a, an option for a linked picture. So this is going to come up as a picture in our workspace so we can move it around. But it's linked to our original, uh, our original activity list. So everything we change in the activity list will impact the picture. And I'll just give you a little example of that. We'll make it a little bit bigger just so we can see it quite nicely. If I double click on that picture, it takes us straight to, uh, to our activity list over here. And if we put something in here, and then we put our duration, maybe five days. So we've got our, our early finish of six days. As you can see, it appears in, uh, in our item over here and we can actually move this around. Oh, now if you'll see, uh, we're still, we can still see the grid behind this. So what I'm gonna do is just select our activity and I'm going to make it a nice, a nice white background. And I might do that, uh, might try and do that for all of our areas. And that way uh, it doesn't, uh, it won't show that grid behind when we move this around. As you can see, now it looks like its own standalone item. And of course we can do this for all of our other activity lists. So let's say we've got number two, paste special, linked picture. And uh, we can make that bigger or smaller, depending on whatever we want. And maybe uh, number two, we start on day seven, our, we've got five days duration, and uh, that means we're finishing, if my maths is correct, on day 12. Of course, my maths is never that good, so hopefully I've got that right. Um, and as you can see, now we're starting to fill out our schedule network diagram. Now, one last thing, if we want to insert some shapes here, and uh, one of the best ways to do this is with a little bendy arrow, and as you can see, it will attach to these four corners anywhere that we want to attach it. So if we start there and we attach it to our next one, we might right click on this and go to outline and just give it a little bit more weight, make it a little bit more of a, a bigger arrow so that everyone can see it and everyone's on the same page. And let's make it a nice, uh, a nice dark blue, I think. Yeah, that'll be quite, quite good for our schedule network diagram. Of course, we can also uh, insert, insert a normal um, straight arrow as well and if we just make that a little bit bigger as well so that it matches so that it's a uh, nice and matching to our other arrow then of course we can copy these anytime we want to reuse them and uh, let's say we want to just add our third one over here uh, and we'll paste special linked picture we'll make it a little bit bigger if we want to and then this can go straight over to number three. Nice and easy. And if we fill out the rest of that, you'll have a beautiful schedule network diagram that you can use and take anywhere on your project management or your management journey in general. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.